now you've clicked on the title and you know yes I have gotten my second piercing and just here's how it looks I absolutely love it I've actually wanted to get it for a very very long time but in school in at least South Africa you can only have one piercing per year and so I didn't get it in high school and then life kind of got in the way in the last two years and then I think it was like the long weekend of Easter I was just like mom let's just do it today and then I went to Lovisa to get it done but the store was unfortunately closed so I just ended up going Monday after Easter Sunday and I went to Lovisa and I got it and here is the footage of how it went. I honestly was actually very, very shocked that I did not have any kind of reaction to it because I think I have mentioned it on my channel before I'm very scared of needles I've just had very bad experiences with it and so anything to do with needles tends to scare me and then I was like you know what it's two seconds of pain and then it's going to just be healing and then I'm going to be with it for the rest of my life and I'm going to enjoy it so I just kind of went for it the lady that I had was so 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 nice she kind of told me how to take care of it she helped clean it she helped me pick out the earrings that I actually chose and she just was really really gentle when doing it so I guess that also made it very easy to not flinch or be scared when I had to do it. So I'm just gonna give you guys the pain that kind of happened during this last week because today's Sunday that I'm filming it so tomorrow will be a week since I had it. So the actual thing actually was not so at all. On a scale of 1 to 10 it was probably like a 3 and a 3 I only say is because when she took it out like I could kind of feel it taking it out but it wasn't sore to the point that I had to scream or anything it was very very bearable you guys just saw I didn't even flinch or anything like that and if I can do it as someone that's afraid of needles then I'm sure that if you're not scared of it or even if you are you will be completely fine then like I think about two or so hours after that it was just stinging a bit and I think that's just because she put like a gel on it to kind of keep it sanitized and so that just hurt a bit and then obviously wearing a mask made it a bit sore to take off because I have to like obviously take it off quite easily and sometimes it would get stuck on it so that was like the only thing that I would say was sore and then I got advice to kind of not sleep on my ears but I tend to fall asleep on my sides so on the first night I had a really bad sleep because I was like terrified of kind of hurting my ear and things like that but then the second day I was like okay let me sleep on my side but kind of lie on my head like this it wasn't actually touching my pillow and that like honestly worked completely I didn't wake up with any soreness in the morning and I didn't have any like bruising or extra pain but on the third day I don't know what happened my right ear I think maybe it was a bit more sensitive and sore but I changed from this gel thing that Lovisa gave me to use because the gel was kind of just settling and drying out it wasn't actually helping the ear at all so I would recommend to not use the gel that you get and then I asked you guys on Instagram which one I should actually use and I got three different methods so someone said to use a saline spray from Discam. someone said to use alcohol spirits and another person said to use just normal soap the saline solution I actually just didn't get a chance to go to Discam. But I did see some other people say that the saline solution actually didn't work for them. So I didn't end up trying that. Then the Protex one, I using just soap basically. Protex is a brand of soap. I tried using just soap on my ears. But that too just kind of made my ears a bit itchy. And I didn't feel like it was really cleaning up my piercing enough. That's obviously just my personal opinion. It obviously worked for the person that recommended it to me. And then and the fourth thing that I tried which actually saved the itchiness that I was kind of feeling from the healing and just from irritation of obviously the earring itself just rubbing against my skin is I used the surgical spirit solution which kind of just looks like this it was very inexpensive and my dad just got it at our local pharmacy this I apply three times a day I apply it in the morning when I get ready I apply it at around four or five o'clock which is midday for me and then I apply it just before going to bed you guys obviously can sleep on your sides depending on where you're 
piercing is but for me i just got a double piercing so it wasn't that tall but i'm pretty sure that if you had to get it on anywhere that's your cartilage or a more unusual area of getting a piercing it probably wouldn't be wise to sleep on your side just because it is cartilage and it's more harder and the healing takes longer then with wearing shower caps i tend to put my shower cap over my ears one i used to do that just because i've suffered with my ears from a very young age just with a lot of ear infections and things like that and so that way none of the shower soap face wash body scrub or even just the netting of your sponge can kind of irritate your ears when you wash your hair if you have long hair like mine is to either flip it over your head and do it over a sink or you can ask someone to wash it in the sink for you and put your hair like that and just make sure that you have a towel covering the top here and your ears and it should be fine just ask someone for assistance the other thing is i didn't really wear a lot of earrings on my first piercing like my lower low piercing just because it pulls your ear down depending on how heavy it is i obviously just wore it just here and there but for the most part i just felt that my ears kind of felt sore at the end of the day where i got my new piercing so i tried to just not interfere with it too much the same with touching your ears i don't touch it that much except obviously now in the video where i'm showing you but i always wash my hands before touching my piercings when cleaning it i don't really touch it during the day and the other thing is i always have my hair up i just obviously put it down now for the video but i usually for the most part just have it up so that my hair doesn't get caught on it or anything like that and the same with wearing certain kinds of jerseys and shirts make sure that it's not a material that can get easily hooked on to your earring and then as i mentioned before with your mask make sure you take extra precaution when taking it out you don't want to just take it out like usual because that will rip your earring so let's get on to how i actually take care of the piercing the first thing is to tie your hair up i just said that you should have a tie all the time but if you do have an urge to open your hair then i would suggest to please tie it up first Okay, well, my hair does not look very neat or whatever like that, but anyway. So the first thing is to wash your hands. So let me go and do that quickly. Okay, so I just finished washing my hands. I also use a separate towel from what's in the bathroom because everyone dries their hand on that. So I just use a face towel throughout the day that's just mine that I use to pat my hands when I'm done washing it. And I also use antibacterial soap and make sure that you scrub it quite well. You don't want to just use water so i then take my surgical spirits and some cotton buds i just kind of dunk it in there i make sure to use different parts of the cotton swab on each yeah and on each side just so that if there is an infection or there is any bacteria that they are not like transferring it to each side so for instance the side i just put in the surgical spirits i will then take my earring you guys can see yeah, i'm gonna bring it close here i'm so sorry but I'm really close, you guys can kind of see that there's a space between my earring and my earlobe so my screw isn't on too tight. I just take that and then I kind of just go around the ring, the earring, sorry. And I make sure to get every nook and cranny. And then I'll do the same thing but with the behind and a different end of the swap. So I just used this side so now I just swapped it over. I've seen that it's a bit sore when I do lift my back lobe up but that's I think just because the earring is actually being forced against the earlobe when I push it up. So I just do it very gently and the same thing if you push the earring down you see that there's a space between my earlobe and the screw even if it's a bit small and I just go around there again. This looks so weird on camera I'm looking at myself but anyway and then I do that and then I just repeat that on the other side. And then after that, I just twist my earring twice to the left and then twice to the right. And then I just repeat that on the other side. So I just kind of twist it just to make sure that the earring doesn't get stuck when it does come time to pull it out. Just helps keep it clean as well and obviously make sure that it doesn't get too stuck or anything which can happen with your piercings. I just repeat this exact process three times a day. If you want to set an alarm on your phone, if you are going to college or whatever, carry this in your bag with you. You can do it in the bathroom or when you're at work or whatever, but please try and do it at least three times a day. This will help your healing process go so much more fast it will prevent any infections and it also sometimes just really helps to soothe if there is any irritation with your ear i am so thankful that i got 
to do this i've been wanting it for such a long time and it was really really worth it i can't wait until it's healed everyone says that it probably heals between three to six months but don't make the mistake of thinking oh the outside is healed i'm sure the inside will be the inside of your ear or not the inside of your ear like the actual place where it's pierced the inside of the skin actually takes longer to heal than the outside your piercing heals from the outside in and today that i'm actually filming this on a side note is actually a year of my youtube channel and i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has watched my video sent me beautiful comments has subscribed even given me a like or even you if it's the first time that you're watching one of my videos i really do thank you it's been a big passion and dream of mine to start a youtube channel and i'm so happy that i finally did and that i'm still loving it and growing so much from day one to now my editing has gotten better as far as i'm concerned personally my thumbnails my filming techniques and things like that have gotten so much more better over this year and i'm so grateful and i cannot wait to see what this next year of my youtube channel brings so if you guys haven't already please definitely stick around for my next few videos stick around with the family and i promise you won't be disappointed love you guys bye